what is going on people in this one we're taking it back to basics for all the peeps new to crypto to explain what the hell are ethereum gas fees and why they matter so with no further ado let's go In traditional finance or TradFi, we often pay fees to transfer funds overseas or when we withdraw cash from an ATM. Crypto is much the same and transaction fees are largely unavoidable. Every transaction carried out on the Ethereum blockchain incurs what's known as a gas fee. Sending, swapping tokens, minting NFTs all require gas fees to be paid to the miners who help in validating and verifying this proof of work blockchain. So in this one, let's get into the good and the bad when it comes to how these fluctuating and volatile fees affect users of the network. Ethereum gas fees fluctuate depending upon the demand on the Ethereum network, and in the last year or so, these fees have become outrageously high. In April 2022, the average price for a swap transaction was between $7 and $43, spiking up to around a mind-boggling $450 at times in early May, making the network completely untenable for the average investor. Last year, the Ethereum network went through an upgrade, dubbed the London Hard Fork. It included a series of Ethereum improvement proposals known as EIP-1559, which were aimed at helping to increase transaction speeds and lower costs. The upgrade was also intended to help change ETH into a deflationary asset. Since the London hard fork took place, transaction speeds are still inconsistent, gas fees are still extremely high, and ETH's price performance has not seen a dramatic improvement, to say the least. So for now, the London hard fork seems to have been more hype and less tangible benefit. Due in large part to the huge rise in the popularity of NFTs, Ethereum gas fees have skyrocketed over the last year or so. While you can't avoid these fees altogether when using Ethereum, there are certain steps you can take to help minimize your transaction costs. Gas fees tend to be cheaper on weekends and when the main markets are asleep. 3 a.m. on Sunday morning, New York time has been a good time to transact on Ethereum over the past year or so, but even this time can still be expensive. Certain tools like DeFi Saver, which is an app for simulating gas fees, come in handy and allows you to work out how much they're likely to cost before you pull the trigger. Several DeFi protocols either offer a gas fee refund or batch individual transactions to significantly lower the gas fees. Some popular protocols include Balancer, CowSwap, KeeperDAO, and Yearn Finance, to name a few. Layer 2 scaling solutions and rollups on Ethereum are development techniques intended to increase transaction throughput by processing transactions off the Ethereum mainnet while still maintaining the same security measures and decentralization as the mainnet. Popular sidechains include Polygon, Optimism, and Arbitrum. Now, while these sound good in theory, they do require more effort and add another layer of complexity and possible mistakes to a transaction. So now we've heard all about the volatile and often pricey gas fees on Ethereum, is there an all-in-one solution that solves this? Well, Pulse Chain is Richard Hart's upcoming full system state hard fork of the Ethereum network. Unlike the proof-of-work consensus network employed by Ethereum, this layer one blockchain will use a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, which will be much cheaper, faster, and more environmentally friendly too. So rather than being an Ethereum killer, PulseChain will help the Ethereum network by reducing its load. And digital assets can be sent easily from network to network using bridges. One very important and exciting thing to know about PulseChain is that if you own any ERC20 in a wallet that you hold the keys to, you will soon get a free copy of those tokens on PulseChain. Free money, baby! So to sum it up, Ethereum gas fees fluctuate depending upon the demand on the network. Gas fees range from a few dollars, but have been seen well into the thousands. So picking certain times or using a layer two solution may help reduce these costs, but come with added effort. EIP-1559, which was aimed at helping to increase transaction speeds and lower costs, has not had its intended, if any, effect for the average investor. PulseChain, the upcoming layer one, will be a hard fork of the Ethereum network and be much cheaper, faster, and more environmentally friendly too. 
It will also have a never seen before full system state copy and could be the savior chain that DeFi and smart contracts need, allowing the average investor to transact regularly without feeling the pain we have all experienced in the past two years. So I hope you enjoyed that one on the Ethereum gas fees and also showed you there is some light at the end of the tunnel with the upcoming hard fork pulse chain. If you like content like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos on the channel. You can also tap the like button, share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. And if you're feeling very kind, drop a cheeky comment below for the algo. It does help us out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.